During the Monaco Grand Prix, George Russell shared that Mercedes came up with a bizarre idea to determine who would get an updated front wing, a coin toss. But Lewis Hamilton stepped in and suggested that Russell should have the new part instead, steering clear of the unusual decision-making method. Just what is going on over at Mercedes? Let's hear all about it in today's video. Russell's standout performance during Monaco GP qualifying saw him outshine his more seasoned teammate by 0.078 seconds, securing a fifth-place result. Hamilton apparently opted out of using the front wing due to the risks posed by Monaco's challenging circuit, not wanting to jeopardise the unique one-of-a-kind wing. Russell shared this insight with the Channel 4 F1 broadcast team, saying... There was one front wing this weekend and it was agreed on Tuesday that we'd do a coin toss and see who got it. Lewis said he'd tried it on the sim and was happy for me to use it this weekend because it doesn't go without risk. If we made a mistake in qualifying and damaged it, obviously that's one front wing that we won't ever be able to use again and you'd have to start from the pit lane. I was happy to take that risk using it and I thought it was a belated birthday present he gave me, saying I could use it. The news that an eight-time Constructors' Champion team is considering a coin toss for upgrades is quite surprising. Despite feeling disappointed about being out-qualified by Russell last Saturday, Hamilton expressed satisfaction with the dedication of the Mercedes team in Brackley. He acknowledged their hard work in enhancing the performance of the W15 machine. I'm really so happy to see the teams bringing upgrades and looking forward to see, you know, the last three races we've had upgrades, Hamilton said. This weekend, George's one was a positive as well, so I'll get that next week and hopefully over the next few races we have some more, and we can continue to push and try and close that gap. As Lewis Hamilton's storied journey with the Mercedes F1 team nears its end, he seems unafraid to stir up some controversy before leaving. Hamilton openly criticised the team after qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix last weekend, suggesting that they were showing favouritism towards teammate George Russell. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has been adamant that both drivers are receiving fair and equal treatment within the team. Hamilton had consistently placed within the top three in all three practice sessions during the Monaco Grand Prix weekend. But during qualifying, he ended up two spots behind his teammate George Russell. Throughout the season's first eight rounds, the seven-time champion has only started ahead of his British compatriot once and anticipates this trend to persist throughout the remainder of the season. He told Sky Sports F1, I already know automatically that I'm going to lose two tenths going into qualifying. I don't anticipate being ahead of George in qualifying, particularly this term. When questioned about his expectations of staying behind Russell in terms of one lap speed for the rest of the season, Hamilton replied, We'll see. The announcement of Hamilton's move to Ferrari in 2025 sparked speculation about his comments, suggesting that something might be off within his own team. This speculation intensified when it was revealed that Mercedes had fast-tracked a new front-wing specification to Monte Carlo, which Russell had been using on his W15 car throughout the weekend. Wolf emphasised that Mercedes has maintained consistency in providing equal opportunities for both drivers to excel, and this approach hasn't altered despite Hamilton's upcoming departure. When asked if he believed Hamilton's comments reflected a sense of paranoia, Wolf said, You know, aren't all drivers a bit sceptical at times? I think as a team we've demonstrated even in the most tense competitions between teammates that we are trying to always balance the drive and be transparent and fair. I think that was not a moment apart from 2016 Abu Dhabi, where it instructed Hamilton to stop backing up Nico Rosberg, where we tried to manage these areas. We haven't done since then, but I can understand that as a driver you want the best out of yourself and the team. Sometimes when it's going against you, you can question. As a team... We are 100% on a mission of giving the two drivers two great cars, the best possible cars, and the best possible strategies and support. Wolf also rejected the notion that the partnership with Hamilton was strained, emphasising that they are committed to ensuring his final season with the team concludes on a positive note. Well, we're trying to do the best out of the relationship, trying to maximise the results for what is the final season, he explained. And that, you know, always between drivers and teams can be tense at times, because everybody wants to do their best. George Russell has voiced early confidence from the Mercedes camp regarding the upcoming new power unit regulations set to be introduced in 2026. He believes that the team is in a really great place to take advantage of these changes. Formula One is transitioning from the current engine era to power units with increased electrical power and the use of 100% sustainable fuels, alongside aerodynamic changes that are yet to be confirmed. With the team's remarkable success since the introduction of turbo-hybrid power units in 2014, leading to eight consecutive Constructors' Championships and seven consecutive drivers' titles, 
Along with their strong track record in other motorsport categories, Russell sees ample reason for optimism. He said, I mean, ordinarily 2026 seems like a long time away, but in the world of Formula One, it's going to be here tomorrow and the team are feeling really confident for this era. I think you know the experience the team have had, the success in 2014 with the new powertrain, and then obviously the time in Formula E, the work that was done with the Mercedes AMG One hypercar. There are a lot of individuals within HPP, Mercedes High Performance Powertrains, who have got so much experience with this future technology. I think that leaves us in a really great place to have a great engine. And the work Mercedes Fuel and Lubricant partner Petronas are doing on the fuel as well is looking really strong. So on the engine side, I think we're feeling very confident for that era. Currently, teams are anticipating the final version of the 2026 technical regulations from F1's governing body, the FIA. This version will provide clarity on the finer details of the sport's new car. While teams have been preparing the groundwork for the power unit aspects, for a while, any aerodynamic development is prohibited until the beginning of 2025. Despite making early progress with power units, both Mercedes and their competitors are facing a voyage of discovery, as described by Mercedes's technical director, James Allison. This journey includes navigating the new regulations and exploring the challenges and opportunities they present. It 2026 is just around the corner, but it's hard to look forward too intensely at the moment because we have to wait and wait and wait to actually get the regulations, he said. Right now, most of the focus, in all honesty, is on the present and the next season. The main action in 2026 land is the power unit and the areas in which that power unit interfaces with the chassis. While the aerodynamic rules and where all the lap time is from a chassis guy perspective, that's still a bit of a voyage of discovery. In recent months, amidst the tensions at Red Bull following Christian Horner's investigation and Adrian Newey's departure, there have been strong links suggesting that Toto Wolff is actively pursuing Max Verstappen to join Mercedes. Rumours of meetings, discussions and Wolff himself acknowledging Verstappen's presence on their radar only fuelled the speculation about the Dutchman leaving Red Bull. But it appears that Wolff has now disclosed that Mercedes doesn't possess enough allure to attract Verstappen. Describing the situation, Toto Wolff admitted that Max Verstappen will not get into a car that is not competitive and at the moment we are not competitive enough to attract a world champion. But we need to see how the next few months will go. Look at McLaren's growth. If we can put four tenths on the car, we will be very competitive. I have to wait for the right moment, there is no urgency. Wolf seems to imply that given Mercedes's current performance, signing for Stappen is unlikely. However, if they can achieve gains similar to McLaren's, there might be potential. This puts an end to the rumours of Verstappen joining Mercedes, at least for now. But with time left and every team principal closely monitoring the driver market, the situation remains dynamic. Verstappen appears unfazed and content with the high-performing Red Bull team. Given the rise in internal tension over at Mercedes, how do you see the rest of the season going for them? Tell us in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.